guys, welcome back to Travel with Hannah. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review on the Sandals Grand St. Lucian Resort. So I went here just a few months ago and I'm gonna give you an overall review of the rooms, the food, the activities, everything there is to know. So to start, if you do get motion sickness, um, just a heads up, it is about two hour drive from the airport. So there are a few other options. You can book a ferry, which will shorten your drive time, or there also is a helicopter. So I think so I think you have to drive about 20 minutes and then you can hop on the helicopter and it'll bring you pretty much right to the Sandals Resort, which is a great option. I wanna say that runs about 200 US a person. I'm not 100% sure on the price of the ferry. So there are other options if you do get motion sick. Otherwise there is a transfer and it takes about two hours on a bus. So there are actually three Sandals Resorts in St. Lucia. So this is one of the three. An awesome thing about Sandals is you can stay at one and play at all three and they actually include transfers. So they're not super close together, but they're not super far. I'd say max, maybe half an hour. Um, so yeah, you can check out the other resorts. You can go there for the day. You can go there for supper, whatever works and the transfers are all included. Another thing to know is Sandals is adults only. So 18 plus and couples only. And one thing that's really cool is this Sandals is close to Pigeon Island. So you just have to go outside of the resort a little bit. So when you go to the resort, they'll ask you for your room number and everything in the time that you're leaving. So they can just keep track of everything. Um, and it's about maybe a five minute walk to the entrance of the park. You can see it right from Sandals. And then it's a $10 US per person admission. And then you're free to stay as long as you want. There's some hiking trails, which we did. And there are some great secluded beaches there too. There wasn't anybody there. Um, so if you're staying at Sandals or not, you can go to these. So if you're staying in an Airbnb or you're staying at a different hotel or whatever, then you could go pay the $10 for the admission and basically get a private beach all to yourself, which is super awesome. They have old forts and stuff in there as well that you can explore. Check out the vlog on my channel and you can see where we did the hikes. Okay, so let's start with accommodations. Um, overall, I found that the basic lead-in rooms were kind of on the dated side. I was a little bit disappointed, to be honest. They have the pillar beds, um, but I think it might be the dark wood that's making it look dated. And as well, they have carpet in there, which I don't love carpets in all inclusives or in hotels. I just, I just find it's dirty. I don't, I don't love it. Um, so maybe if they got rid of the carpet, it'd be a little bit better. But overall, I found the rooms a little dated. Now with the Rondeval suites, as you can see on my channel, I did another video for a walkthrough for the Rondevals and the over the water huts. So the Rondevals kind of have that rustic feel but it goes more with the vibe of the whole wooden like hut situation um so i feel like it's better placed there and they did have more modern amenities in the rondevals and then the over the water huts obviously are the nicest there they're the most updated they're the newest and they're the most expensive overall i think the rooms could definitely use a facelift i think if they got rid of the carpet and some more modern touches then it would make a huge difference in the resort because as you know sandals isn't cheap and I think that if they started by renovating the rooms, then it would make a big difference. Food, okay, so this is an all-inclusive resort, which is great, so you can eat and drink as much as you want. Nothing that isn't included. Overall though, I found it was just okay. Honestly, I was a little bit disappointed. Um, we had gone to Sandals Barbados um, previously and everything was amazing. I couldn't have asked for better food or service or anything, it was super great. Um, but I found there was a big difference here. I found uh, the classic Dinos and the Mariners and the Jerk Shack, they're pretty standard across the board. It's just snack food, you know, like it was all great. Barefoot by the sea, just a heads up. The food was good, but um, you are sitting on picnic tables, so ladies, don't worry about dressing up. I made that mistake and I wore heels and you had to walk through the sand. It's not ideal, so go in flip-flops. Gordon's, we were really excited for Gordon's. We saved that for our last night. So that is the seafood restaurant that's on the pier. Beautiful location, super nice. But the food I was very disappointed in, it was just meh. The Italian place, Tuscani's was good. Probably pronouncing that wrong, but it was good. Um, I made a pasta and it had um, shrimp and mushroom in it. So that was really good. I did enjoy that one. And the Bayside Buffet, we went there frequently. I found um, for breakfast and lunch, and we went for a dinner, I find that they do have lots of variety there. Overall, I find the food just wasn't up to the sandal standard. I was disappointed in that. But a couple things you must try is the jerk chicken from the Jerk Shack. It's always a hit, it's always super good. It's a little bit spicy, so if you don't like spice, just a heads up. 
The creme brulee from Josephine's Crepery was delicious. They're just mini, but perfect size, super good. Barefoot by the Sea has this smoked seafood like spread is what they call it. And they put it on these little pieces of bread. Oh my God, so delicious. I think that was one of my favorite things that I had during my whole stay at Sandals. Okay, so entertainment. Um, it was definitely lively. The pool was always bumping. It was always super loud music. So if you're not looking for that type of vibe, stay away from the pool because it was loud. Um, definitely partying. Um, some people stay at the swim up pool all day. Like, I hope you're getting out to go to the bathroom. <laughs> they had lots of pool games going on. At one point they had people in kayaks, like couples doing like challenges in the pool. Nightly entertainment was usually a mix of like music the sort, and they did have a beach party schedule while we were there, but unfortunately it was raining. So we put it in the lobby and there wasn't a whole lot going on there. And another thing they had was they had pool tables inside, which is nice because it was a little bit rainy while we were there. So we did get to enjoy some games of pool. The beach. This is definitely the highlight of the resort for me. I don't think beaches get much better than this. It was super pristine. There was no seagrass. You could just walk in and walk out. You didn't have to worry about walking through anything. There was a couple like shells around, but nothing like that would hurt your feet. No rocks or anything that would really hurt your feet. It was super silky smooth. And they had those circle things that look like trampolines, but they're not like, like see, you can sit in the water. So they had those around too. And they also had a couple sandal swings, which was really cute too. When you're on the beach, if you do decide to camp out for the day closer down to where the pool is, just be aware again that the music is super loud. It can get super annoying. Um, so we tended to go down by the over the water bungalows. The amount of seats, I mean, I found it actually was getting pretty full pretty quickly. As you can tell in my vlogs, I was going out early in the morning to try to get a good seat. Um, my favorite seats of all were these um, swings, I'll insert a picture. Um, there were some swings that had a uh, cushion on it and they were covered and it was a lot more quiet over there. The layout of the resort, I think it was pretty well laid out. It wasn't super confusing or anything. Depending on what type of accommodation you're staying in, you may be further away from the pool. The over the water bungalows at the very end of the resort it gives it privacy, which is super nice, but you are a little bit further away from things. But the resort isn't so massive that you have to take a cart or anything to get around. Activities, so there were quite a bit of activities going on. Like I said, they had games in the pool. Um, they had um, they had a pool volleyball net there that, in one section of the pool if you wanted to play. They had a big chess board and they had ping pong and they had pool tables and they had paddle boards, Hobie cats and kayaks that you could take out. So we took the paddle boards out for an hour or so. It was really nice. Again, everything is included in your all-inclusive package. So pools, I wanna say there's five, but I definitely didn't see them all. So the heart pool was my favorite. It was nice and relaxing. Again, when I go on vacation, it's not really about the party scene. I wanna relax, I wanna enjoy myself, I wanna read my book. So there was a heart-shaped pool, I'll insert a picture. And they had these cabanas out beside it. And there was, well, I wanna say one, two, three. And they were just these chairs with cushions and they were, had the canopies and stuff over top. And they also had jacuzzis there. So that's where we like to hang out if we were able to get a spot. The main pool, again, packed, super busy. People go out there really early in the morning to get the chairs. It has the big tower in it with the swim up bar. So that's where there's a lot of action happening throughout the day. They have a little pool off the side. I don't know if it's connected or not for sure, but it has the volleyball net in it. And then just off to the side of that, they had another pool, had another pool that we had discovered like on the last day. So that was more of a chill pool as well, which was nice. The main pool also has some jacuzzis in there as well. So who would I recommend this resort to? Well, where it's couples only, adults only, obviously families aren't allowed to go, aren't able to go. So I would recommend this to couples who enjoy more of a lively vibe, a party vibe, or people like myself who want to go somewhere with a pristine beach because like I said, it doesn't get much better than that. And last notes, for sandals overall, I do feel like it wasn't quite up to the standards that I was hoping for. Um, I'm definitely comparing it to the sandals and Barbados and I know that the other one's newer, um, but I still think that the standard should be held to the same height, the same respect. I feel like the service should just be, be just as good regardless of the accommodations if they're newer or older. And I feel like the food quality should be as good regardless of the age of the resort as well. If you're looking for a price or have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching.